Hey everyone, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming, the channel where we list off things all video games. Today we're returning to a recently popular list, the Top 10 Fan Made Sonic Games. And things get a little sillier this time around. We'll be looking at some wonderful parody games along with ones crafted in retaliation to Sega's development flaws, and ones that are just straight up fan homages. So get ready to be entertained by these Sonic themed debauchery and expertise. Also, most of these are free to download, so if there's any that jump out to you, definitely give them a Google. Minus our first number, because that's money. Number 10, Super Sonic Adventure 2 The New Challenges. Starting off this list is a genuine effort to give fans a 3D Sonic game of quality, all while mocking another franchise. The New Challenges takes Sonic 2 Adventure 2's levels and increases the roster of playable characters, meaning you can play as any of the characters available in multiplayer, but in single player, and during the levels that are normally just solo Sonic. You also gain each of these characters' abilities, so it's not just a different skin. The downside? Well, in order to use this mod, you need to own Sonic Adventure 2 HD on Steam with the mod being available for free on the Sonic Retro website. And at number 9, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Complete. On our previous part 1 list, we featured a lot of games that were takes on the classic Sega Genesis Sonic games, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Complete fits that bill. Back in the day, in 1994, Sonic and Knuckles was released, and you could snap its cartridge on top of the cartridge for Sonic 3, which combined the two games. Initially, the two games were supposed to be one, but ended up being separated. So what's Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Complete all about then? Well, they're together in one game, and it takes both games and fixes all the bug issues and offers the player the option to modify various parts of it, like what soundtrack you use, adjustments to the levels and their transitions, and even a more advanced version of Tails mode. And at number 8, Sonic Hedgehog 5. Would you like your ears to bleed? Well, lucky for you, this game's soundtrack will do exactly that. Aside from driving you insane, Sonic Hedgehog is a flash game that doesn't care about going too fast. You walk and jump through the levels to pick up a ring that's at the end of each level, with a hovering Eggman watching over it. Perhaps the game gets funnier as you go, but I couldn't get through more than three levels of this. But if you have, let us know in those comments below and tell us what we missed out on. And at number 7, When Tails Gets Bored. Using graphics taken from the Genesis Sonic games, When Tails Gets Bored is a parody game that was made in the game's factory engine, and is based on a bunch of hoaxes. As Sonic, you run into Tails, who tells you that he's bored, so he turns off all the lights. You then have to go along with his shenanigans, and while the story is slightly infuriating and unmotivated, the gameplay isn't all that terrible. That being said, it's all pretty much just ripped from Sonic games, so it doesn't really do anything unique or original. But if you're looking for something mildly weird to try, or something a little offbeat from a traditional Sonic game, it's worth a shot. And it even has some pockets of humor that Sonic fans might get a chuckle out of. Up next at 6, Sonic. Ball. Let's be honest, Sonic Ball is pretty ridiculous, but that's exactly why it's gained popularity. Ready, steady, get set, go fast! I'm going the fastest! Holy Anyway, Sonic Ball is a racing game, which is pretty much all over the place. Plus, there's a lot of really hilarious easter eggs peppered throughout that make it really enjoyable when you stray off course. Like Biggie the Tank Engine and an Omnius Shrek statue. Fun stuff. And at number 5, Sunky the Game. Sunky is a hilarious parody of the classic platform Sonic games. You walk casually through a level, with the inability to really do much of anything else. When you reach the end of the level, it announces, Sunky did a thing. And the music? Well, it's pretty great too. It also spawned a ton of sequels and spiritual successors to other Sonic games, Sega and fan made ones. Perhaps that's for another part of this video series. And at number 4, Sonic's The Edgehog Adventure 2DX. Now, this is a 3D Sonic game I can get behind. In this fan made game, you get to play as a realistic version of Sonic, one where he actually looks like a real life hedgehog, all within levels that accurately parody those of Sonic Adventure. Being only a three level demo, it's a little limited, and apparently it's been quite buggy and glitchy for some, and because of that, it's quickly become a fan favorite. Up next, number 3, we've got a game with a great title, Eggman Hates Furries. While the animations are shady at best and the title invokes all sorts of feelings towards part of the Sonic fandom, Eggman Hates Furries is actually a really enjoyable game. The creator, a Game Jolt user named Oddwarg, describes the game as an untraditional Sonic fan game, based on redefined boss battles and stylish presentation. It's full of surprises and highly ambiguous, which is actually pretty accurate. The boss fights are just downright epic, and parts of the game are more than just a little eerie. Definitely not the kind of family friendly game that the Sonic franchise produces, but definitely something worth checking out. Up next at our number 2 spot is Super Sonic Knockout. Super Sonic Knockout is essentially a fighting game mixed in with the traditional Sonic gameplay. It feels a little like Super Smash Bros, hence the name, but also features elements of other platform games when it comes to combat. It offers a few different modes, story, battle and non-stop mode, plus an additional one that you can unlock. 
The story and writing aren't too shabby, especially when compared to other Sonic fan games. <laughs> what, a unique Sonic game with some actual thought put into it? Someone call the current Sonic team at Sega and tell them to take notes. Or, or don't. And finally, in at number 1, Sonic EXE. We've mentioned this game a couple of times on this channel, since it generally falls into the creepy Sonic category. If you're unaware, Sonic EXE was initially a creepypasta, an urban legend that popped up online about a teenager who witnesses a bunch of terrifying paranormal events, all when he plays a modded PC port of the 1991 Sonic the Hedgehog game. Flash forward to 2012. A Game Jolt user by the name of MY5T Crimson released a game titled Sonic EXE, which was based on the creepypasta, and featured some pretty disturbing moments. You play as Tails, Knuckles, and Eggman, all of whom are manipulated into morbid events by possessed red-eyed Sonic, with the game venturing further into hellish territory as you progress. And guess what? There's just no escaping Sonic. Eek. Well, that was a creepy note to end on. Which of these games have you played before? And which ones are you going to try out? Let us know your thoughts in those comments below. There's also a ton of other games that we didn't mention on this list, so if you dug this video and the part 1 video, give us a shout about that and maybe we'll do a part 3. Yay for celebrating the inventiveness of Sonic fans. Cause Sega won't. As always, if you dug this video, please show us some love by hitting that like button. And if you're new, subscribe and hang out with us some more. Plus, if you're craving more Sonic, why not check out our top 10 Sonic playlist that's flashing on your screen right now. Give it a click. You know you want to. In the meantime, thanks for watching. This has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one.